Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another Babe with the Power Power Sessions. I would like to welcome, seriously, one of my favorite power babes that I have been on this journey with together. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, Melanie. Hi, I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for inviting me, Maureen. Yay. I love every time we get together and speak together. And it's time to share you with our peeps in the world if we haven't done it already. <laughs> Um, I would love to introduce you, but I also think you would do it best yourself. Um, real quick, who are you and why are you a power babe? So my name is Melanie Crystal. I am the founder and CEO of Laurels. At Laurels, we make silky, sexy panties that are used for intimate activity. Um, you can use laurels when you're really interested in oral sex, fingering, or rimming, and you want all of those sensations, but you don't want the skin-to-skin -skin contact. Um, and I can talk a little bit more later about you know, some of the reasons that you might want to use laurels. Uh, before I started laurels, I was a lawyer, and um, I worked in corporate litigation for several years, um, representing consumer products companies, healthcare companies, uh, and then I also did some LGBTQ rights work uh, and was part of the case that brought gay marriage to the Western United States. So that was really, really amazing. Um, let's see, um, why am I a, a babe with the power? I would say um, that throughout you know, my last two careers being a lawyer and then now being a CEO of this company, um, I have been proud of being a woman in both of those spaces. And also in, I, I've been proud of being a feminine woman. You know, I um, have not really changed who I am in order to fit within, um, you know, a corporate legal environment or to fit within, um, you know, a startup environment where oftentimes, uh, you know, being a white man, um, cisgender man is highly privileged. Um, and yeah, I would say that is why I'm a babe with the power. <laughs> We're a total babe with the power. Um, before we go too deep into it, for those of you who do not know what laurels are, I, it's another innovative product. And I think that's where you and I, our paths have crossed. We both break stigmas. We are passionate about sexual health and wellness and doing it in a fun, beautiful way. So really quickly, and we'll totally dive into this, what are laurels and why did you create them? Yeah, so laurels are silky panties. They're made out of condom grade latex. Um, and the panty is extremely thin, uh, which basically allows you to feel all of the sensation through it. Um, so I initially created Laurels um, because I was really familiar with a product called a dental dam. And uh, when I was in college, I was a peer sex educator and I would talk about the product and it received a lot of laughs, honestly. People were like, what? It's called a dental dam. Why would I use this? And, you know, I remember sort of feeling sorry for the product because, you know, I, it has a lot of utility. It's important. Um, you know, STIs can be transmitted during oral sex and it's important to uh, have an option out there to protect people for, from that transmission. Um, but I also understood why it was such a laughing stock product. I mean, you have to hold it up, which takes two out of the four hands <laughs> up, out of the equation. Um, you have to if you're the giver, it's like it's basically like this loose piece of latex. So it can go up inside your nostrils and inside of your mouth. It makes it difficult to breathe. And that's not very fun while you're trying to go down on someone. If you're the receiver, the product can often move from the anus to the vagina, which transfers anal bacteria. And you know, that's just the reality of a product that's loose against your body. It can move up and down. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, you know, also it the, the fact that it's called a dental dam, the fact that it um, is, you know, associate it with dentistry, or even if you're generous and you call it an oral dam, still like the fact that it's called a dam makes it feel like it's preventing fun and pleasure. And I guess I just realized after, you know, finding myself using oral dams and then finding myself 
needing a barrier during oral sex, I realized, you know, what if this were actually beautiful? What if it were sexy? What if it enhanced the intimate experience rather than detract it from it? Yes, those are, uh, that's our packaging, yeah. Um, yeah, and so I, I initially created the product um, to protect against STIs during oral sex. Now, along the way, I started talking with more and more women about their oral sex experiences, and I also started paying more attention to my own uh, intimate experiences. And um, I realized through those conversations and through my life that there are so many other reasons why people find themselves turning down oral sex when they really want to say yes. Yep. So people will turn it down if they're on their period and they're concerned about mess. They'll turn it down if they want to try rimming and they're worried about poop. Um, or if your partner has a scratchy beard and it rubs against you and it doesn't feel good. Um, a lot of people have ultra sensitivity in their clitoris or their vulva and having, you know, the texture of somebody right next to them just doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel comfortable. And then also for, um, like psychological reasons as well. There's so many reasons that a lot of people just don't want someone up close and personal like that. Um, they really like the idea of having some kind of barrier there. Um, several of our customers um, use laurels for gender dysphoria because they don't want to have to think about their genitals during oral sex. So basically, you know, over time, I realized there are so many other reasons that people might want a barrier during oral. And uh, and so laurels are now on the market for all of those reasons. And then we're also working to get FDA clearance so that we can uh, you know, market the product for the initial reason that I created it, which is to protect against STIs. It's beautiful. I absolutely love them. I've used them. I recommend them all the time. And I have a lot of positive feedback from people, even for fun, even for the let's change up a sensation. So people have had some fun. Like it feels phenomenal when it's up against your skin. They're silky. They're, I mean, I thought when I first, I was like, okay, I don't want a barrier method for oral. It's something that people dismiss. People understand condoms. And we worked really hard to educate people on condoms. But for some reason, you're right. When I go speak at the universities, people reject oral dams. And a lot of some of the STDs and STIs that are contracted that way are with you. And you don't want them. And these are phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, smell I, good. <laughs> they smell good. So basically, you know, one of the things I really um, love about this, I'm going to show the product on a mannequin. So, so here's what it looks like uh, when it's on your body. It really like forms to your curves and um, so cute. Uh, has some excess material on the gusset, which basically allows for finger penetration as well as tongue penetration. Um, and you know, it's a fun product to, to incorporate into your sex life. Like it actually, I, I think it does, you know, serve its purpose of really like enhancing the experience. It's fun. It's unique. Um, it's new. It's like just a different way to have oral sex. So even if you don't have a reason to, you know, necessarily want a barrier, uh, sometimes it's just like a fun kinky thing to add to your sex life. Latex, it's amazing. Well, I'm so excited and I love what you're doing. You know that. Um, some of the things that you and I have faced with being women in a space, um, sexual health in general, there's still a lot of taboos out there. We've made a lot of headway. I'm really proud to be where we are, mm -hmm. but maybe you can share some of the challenges you've had creating a product that's so needed and innovative. Sure. Um, so some of the initial challenges were finding a factory that was interested or willing to, to make the product. So, um, you know, first I tried to uh, manufacture it in the United States and I reached out to a lot of factories here. And, you know, a lot of factories aren't really interested in being involved in, in new product creation. So I can understand that. But one factory, um, you know, I... I didn't really tell them exactly what the product was going to be initially because I wanted to have an NDA first. And initially I just told them, okay, so it's going to be approximately this wide by this tall and this thin, uh, and it's made out of latex. This is a factory that makes condoms. Um, so I figured, you know, they have the expertise in making products like this. Um, and so, you know, after I told them the, the dimensions, they're like, you know, that definitely sounds within our capabilities. Let's uh, set up a meeting, uh, you know, we'll sign your NDA. And so they signed the NDA and then they're like, uh, you know, can you give us a little bit more information about what the product is? And so I explained what the product was and that it was going to be used for safe sex during cunnilingus. 
And they responded and said, you know, we're actually not comfortable with the nature of that product. And um, we don't uh, think that it makes sense for us. So, you know, that was, I think, a big taste of the reality that I was going to continue to face. Um, and that a lot of us uh, in the sexual wellness space face, especially if we, we make products um, for the benefit of women and people with vulvas. Um, so that was uh, really a bummer, uh, <laughs> but oh, you know, there. kept on kept on going, and um, and actually it ended up being good because we now manufacture in Malaysia, which is the world leader of quality condom production, and um, I have a factory that I now now work with that's amazing, and I'm glad that things worked out that way. Um, another situation that's happened um, is, I you know, I feel like when you have a product that's uh, in the process of being patented and it's now patented, woohoo! Um, wait, wait, stop! stop. <laughs> it is the best feeling. That only twenty percent of us women, or twenty percent of patents, are by women. So okay. high Go five, is good. we did it. Woo. We did it. We got a Guys, it's not that hard. I mean, it sucks and it's hard, but you can do it. Okay, go ahead. Continue. So, um, you know, I think that a lot of people like to sort of prey on that situation. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I think there are so many people that are out there to try to make money off of, uh, you know, unsuspecting entrepreneurs. And, um, you know, one issue that happened is while we were in our manufacturing process, a vendor that my factory was working with that was, you know, pretty crucial to our manufacturing process. Um, after I met him and several of the other folks that were working with the factory, he started WhatsApping me and saying, um, you know, I don't think we should work with the factory. I think we should work together directly on this. And um, in fact, I don't mm -hmm. want to, you know, I, I, that's the only way I'm willing to continue in this project and, you know, basically kind of blackmailed me into trying to, to work with him. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to work with him. I wanted to work with the factory that, you know, is an FDA registered facility and makes a lot of FDA cleared products. And, you know, it has decades of a safety record as opposed to this, you know, random guy who knows how to make machine and i i shouldn't say random guy who knows how to. i mean you know he clearly has like a specialty and is knowledgeable and good at what he does but that doesn't mean that i should no. you know, contract with him and make That's a product with him That's yeah right. so um so he you know made good on his threat and uh he was he was the machine maker and so he like repossessed the machine after i told him that i was not going to work with him so that set us back for a very long time because we had to find another machine. Um, did so, you a mold? did you create a mold for your laurels? And that was what he took away the machine part? Um, he took away the machine that we put the mold on that okay. made the product. Okay. The plate and everything. It, no, not not the not the plate. Um, the the molds are ours. Yeah, um, so but we'll the mold. Mm -hmm. So you know, how, you know how like there are those like gigantic condom machines that mm -hmm. are just huge and you know like goes through and it dips and then comes back out. So yeah. we have a machine that exists just for the purpose of making laurels, and he had been the one who had helped us to make it. Um, and so then we had to to start over again. So yeah, that's the kind of thing um, that that has happened, and um, you know. You got through it. Yeah, and you get through it. I, a, a lot of a lot of people also like are only willing to do work for you if you give them equity in your company, and that is not an arrangement that you actually need to get into if you're a young entrepreneur. Like, you know, if it does make sense for you to interact with this person on an equity basis, then okay, sure, consider it. But I, I think a lot of entrepreneurs are very quick to give away equity like very early and. Um, you know, that's not necessarily something that you need to do. There are other ways. Yeah, absolutely. So some of the proudest moments. So we overcome hurdles, we get past them. Lots of things come your way. You can't always protect yourself. You can follow your instincts. You could have people who guide you. 
but I've seen some of your amazing accomplishments. I've been following you. I've been friends and a collaborator with you for a long time. What are some of your proudest moments in your journey? Um, well, one of the one of the proudest moments uh, that I've had is, has happened recently. Um, we just got stocked in Urban Outfitters, and I know Maureen, you uh, were a trailblazer where that was concerned. Um, so it's really awesome to follow in your footsteps on that. Um, really, one of my favorite moments was when we were featured in a photo spread in Playboy. Uh, one of the things that I really wanted to do with Laurels was make this product sexy, something that enhances the intimate experience rather than a silly dental dam that makes people laugh. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, when Playboy called and they said, we want to feature this, we want to like have a, a model wearing the product, uh, that felt amazing. And then to be able to go into stores and open the magazine and see the you know beautiful product on a very beautiful derriere uh, <laughs> of this model. Um, it was it was very exciting. And then of course, I mean what the, the thing that I, I think is absolutely most gratifying is hearing from customers uh, who use the product and who were are, you know able to experience sensations that they otherwise wouldn't. Um, yeah. A lot of customers who hadn't received oral sex in years or decades or sometimes ever. And now they're able to because of laurels and that just feels so amazing. And then also for people who just, you know, prefer to have a barrier, it wasn't preventing them altogether from having oral, but they were definitely turning it down more often than they otherwise would. Um, and now they have laurels and they're able to say yes all the time. So, you know, it, it feels really amazing to be able to impact people's lives like that. Yeah, it should. I'm, I'm incredibly proud and inspired by you. I love them. I love what you're doing. Um, some of the questions that people have asked me, and I feel like I know the answer to them, but I want to hear it from you. Um, body safe. So I, you know me, I'm an ecosexual. Everything I do has to be body safe. So I reject a lot of products out in the world and I don't make any products that aren't body safe and eco-friendly. Um, but sometimes we have to like body safe is number one and then eco safe or eco friendly is for me. So what have you done to make sure that these are safe for your body? Yeah, so um, we we test the products to make sure that um, there's no issues with latex allergies. Um, I mean, if somebody has a latex allergy, then they, they will be allergic to this product, but we test it to make sure that it's not, you know, more of an allergen than other similar products on the market. Um, we test laurels for irritation and sensitization, um, and we've done extremely well on those tests. It's been awesome. Um, we also, as I mentioned earlier, manufacture the product at an FDA registered facility that, you know, also has several uh, FDA 510Ks for a lot of the other products that it makes. Um, so we know that they're really making a quality product. Um, we use FDA cleared materials to make our products as well. Uh, for example, uh, the the coloring that we use, you you know, you could see earlier that the product is, is black. It's not like a normal, um, uh, kind of yellowish latex color. Um, and uh, the black colorant that we use is an FDA cleared colorant. Um, and then the laurels are flavored, they're vanilla flavored, and we use food grade flavoring for that. Um, it yeah, so, so good. I'm always sniffing them. <laughs> Which is so funny because I'm like, why am I always just with these in my face? Yeah. <laughs> they smell and taste really good. Um, so a lot of, I, I think you use very high quality latex. Um, just like us, we also manufacture in Malaysia, which it makes a difference when you tap the rubber trees and you put them in a vat and you create a product right away, as opposed to some that sit there for, I don't know how long. And it has that nasty condom smell, just like yeah. our condoms. Like you take out our condoms, people are like, wait, it doesn't smell like a condom. And I'm like, because we use fresh ingredients, <laughs> not yeah. rotting rubber. It's just, mm -hmm. it smells delicious and they feel really good. Um, one of the things that I love about our journey is that we're breaking down stigmas and we're talking about sexual health in a beautiful and sexy way without it being, uh, it, it's more inclusive. So I have no qualms if something's raunchy and out there, but also to be inclusive for some people who 
there's a barrier for them to enter into sexual health and Absolutely. saying yes, like you say all the time, like saying yes more often. So I love what you're doing and I want to help get these out into the world. And I'm so proud of you that you're, you're killing it. I see you everywhere. Keep going. Um, would you like to tell some people where they can find you? Sure. Um, so laurels are available at mylaurels.com. That's M-Y-L-O-R-A-L-S.com. And um, we're also available on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok now at my laurels. Um, and uh, if your customers uh, and listeners are interested in purchasing laurels, we're offering 15% off. Uh, we'll leave the discount code um, attached to this video. Yeah, we'll put all of that down below. And if you come to our Instagram, both of ours, we're going to do a giveaway. We're going to do a lot of more fun stuff together. And as we're leaving, um, do you have any advice? Because a lot of people who do listen to this are aspiring entrepreneurs, business women and men. What would you give advice if you're thinking of an idea? Yeah. So the advice that I generally give, and I still absolutely believe in this, is um, don't let imposter syndrome get to you. Mm -hmm. uh, so many of us are first-time entrepreneurs, and none of us really have any idea what we're, what we're doing. You have to be willing to learn stuff from the beginning, but you also have to recognize that you know, so many of the other people out there are also learning this from the beginning. Um, so, you know, keep that confidence up. It's really important to being able to get through each day, get through each phone call, get through pitch meetings and all of that stuff. Um, but the advice that I think is even more practical and that just comes up all the time is learn how to be a designer. Mm. Like that is so important. Understanding, um, you know, the basics of design principles, like placement of things on the page, a little bit about color theory, a little yeah. bit about how fonts work together. Um, but then also learning enough to get around Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. I feel like it is so important on a frequent basis because so much of what we have to do is taking our ideas and then communicating them to the world. And that, you know, is not always verbal like this, you know, it's often through a visual image and like, yes, you can work with a designer and there are lots of ways to find really talented designers, but if you always have to go through somebody else in order to get that idea onto paper, it just adds this barrier that doesn't need to be there. Um, you know, it, if Thanks. you, if you can, if you can take a picture that has, you know, one person with like a color background on it and you know enough to expand that background so that it can be widescreen instead of, uh, you know, a tall image, it's going to save you so much money and then so much time because so much that's fun. a very simple edit to be able to do. And, and it, there are all these reasons that you need to know how to do silly stuff. You're like right. That. You're yeah. right. And, so, and there are lots of apps. Like if it, you're intimidated, if you were listening and you're like, oh, that's my worst trait. That's going to be the biggest hurdle. It's okay. There are so many apps. There's so many programs to make it super user-friendly and like even like roundabout tricks. If I'm like, I don't even have my Adobe Illustrator up, but you're right. I do need to make it in the landscape. Somebody needs it right now. Like screenshotting things on your Apple phone and putting it into an app. Oop, there you go. You could email mm -hmm. it just like that. And like you said, otherwise I would have to send it to a graphic designer for something that might need to happen right now. And you're right, it's a digital world. So yeah, it's, I love you. I love everything you're saying. I love my laurels, not anybody else's, they're mine. <laughs> and I can't wait to do the giveaway and keep growing together. So thank you so much for coming on. And if there's anything else you wanna share, this is your platform, just like it is mine. This is for everybody. Well, so. Thank you so much. Um, I mean, you know, Maureen, you are the best. I'll, I'll, I'll share a lovely story about meeting Maureen. Um, so uh, we met at the Sex Expo in New York City and Laurel's had a booth and um, I was the only person there from Laurel's because we're a very small company. And um, I 
was part of a of a panel and then I also gave a, a talk on oral sex and I had to step away from the booth during that time but things were going great a lot of people were coming up and they wanted to talk to me and I hated leaving the booth co to completely empty and Maureen was so kind and generous enough to offer her time to you know be at our booth during the time period that I was uh, like on the panel or doing the the class and I mean not only were you kind and generous you also were an amazing salesperson I mean people came away and they were like who is this person that you're working for you she's amazing <laughs> and I was like oh God, I only she wish <laughs> like, I have no idea who she is we were just on a panel together and now she's like yeah. mm -hmm. yep oh my God so good and I had no idea that that would, you know, be a seed to a beautiful friendship. And I was happy to do it. I immediately believed in your product. I believe we were on the same panel opening up the whole Absolutely. entire yeah. sex tech. We were opening it. And as we were speaking, I, I didn't meet you before, but we were sharing our stories. And I remember just having that energy and I was gravitated to it. I was like, that's badass. So I went over to your booth and I was like, I just want to introduce myself and meet you. And I saw on your face this like, like, oh no, what am I going to do? And I was like, what's, what's up? And you're like, I got to go, but I don't I'm like, just give me a few selling points. How much are they? Go. It was awesome. It was amazing. I am, uh -huh. I will be forever grateful. And I am, I, I feel so fortunate to be able to work with you in this industry. Likewise. Well, thank you again. I'm going to end recording now, guys, but okay. if you want more Find, remind everybody, I know they're going to look below. Where's the fastest way? Instagram, what's your handle? At my laurels, M Y L O R A L S. Follow Melanie. Bye, guys. Thanks again. Bye. See you next time.